Hi guys, precursor here. Basic random spawn or over blueprint when game starts in Unreal Engine 4. For this example, I'll use the blueprint red key created in my previous key door system videos. But you can use what you want. Uh, this can be easily adapted to everything. Also, a mesh, an effect like a particle system, an enemy, whatever you want. So, first let's delete the, the instance of the blueprint red key that is already in the level. Let's delete it. I will use this blueprint. First, let's create a more interesting environment uh, to spawn our blueprint, our key, in this case. Let's see what we have in props directory. Let's place a, a rock here. Let's place a, a table and a chair. What else? Place some bushes here. Hold Alt and and move to copy. Let's place a shelf. Rotate 90 degrees. Place map. You can scale it if you want. Okay. Now select some possible points where you want to spawn uh, our key and place target points actors I want uh, possible points for spawning the shelf between the bushes on the table and behind the rock so go to the modes panel and write target and you have a target point Actor. Bring in the level where you want to spawn the key. One here, another behind the rock, another one on the table, and another one between the bushes okay. target point actors do just this they give you a generic point in the world that you can use in uh, as target in blueprints in this case we can use these points to spawn items from for this example four are enough now open the level blueprint Go to Blueprint and Open Level Blueprint. Add an event begin play. Drag out a spawn actor from class node. And pick the blueprint you want to spawn in my case is BP red key this node spawns um, an instance of this class in the at, at the coordinates of the spawn transform okay now we need the random spawn point to feed into the transform 
input of the spawn actor node. Let's go back to the editor and in the world outliner select all the target points you placed. Simply shift click the last idea. Okay. Now go back to level blueprint, right click and create references for the four selected actors. Okay. Now pull out and uh, make array node. Add add pins for all the targets, so in this case we need four, and connect. Now we have an array that is a list, in this case of all the target points in the level. From the array output pull out a get array. This node will get an, an entry from the array. In this case it will um, it's going to get the uh, the entry zero the first. We need to create a random picks between uh, the entries. Simply drag out a random integer in range. This node will randomly pick a value from min to max. And uh, so set those uh, set min to the, the first entry, 0, and max to the last entry, in this case it's 3, sorry, 3. It, uh, make array works in this way because it's 0 based. The first entry is 0, not 1. Now the get node will pick a random target. And we need the location of this, of, of this target so we can uh, spawn the actor at this location. So drag out from get a get actor transform that, that contains the actor location, rotation and scale and plug this into the spawn transform of the spawn actor compile save and let's test it on the table I need to adjust this target you can uh, you can change it and adjust the position of all the, the target points nothing changes let's try again oh this time is on the shelf let's try again between the bushes and so on this system can be improved uh, in many ways for example uh, in case of, of, of multiple multiple spawn of, uh, of blueprints, objects, whatever you want, we can easily uh, delete entries of the, uh, of the make array uh, targets we already used to place every object in a different position. There are uh, infinite possibilities of uh, customization. Let's try it another time. Uh, where is it? What is the key? Oh, 
let's take it to talk it and that's how we go. Well, that's all. If you enjoy the video, please uh, subscribe uh, and share. Stay tuned, stay tuned because more is coming. See ya!